Hi, hello, Assalamualaikum. Hi, how are you? Okay, I hope you are ready to start our lesson today. Okay, so today we are going to read uh, a Q&A on education. Okay, so it's on page 52 of your full blast textbook. Uh, I hope you are ready with your textbook right now. And please turn to page 52. Okay, we will read the text together and we will match the questions. If you need notice, there are four questions on the left side of the page. So we will match the four questions to the sections A, B, C, and D. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, section A. This is very unlikely. Teachers are more than just machines that provide learners with information and correct exercises. They show students how to use information, help them with their individual needs and questions, as well as notice if someone is experiencing problems. Computers cannot provide this human and emotional side to learning. Also, students get distracted easily, so if the teacher wasn't there to get them to pay attention, who would? Learners might just remain in front of the screen without getting any work done. However, it is true that as time goes by, we will see more and more learning taking place on computers and teachers will work alongside them. Okay, next, let's move to section B. This is a popular belief, especially by those who are trying to prove the existence of psychic powers such as telepathy. They say that as we use only 10% of our brains, we will be capable of incredible things when we actually start using 100%. People probably got this wrong idea from scientific discoveries in the late 19th century that showed that only 10% of our brain is working actively at any one time. However, this does not mean that the remaining 90% is unused. We use every part of our brain, but at different times and in different amounts. The way we use our brain is similar to the way we use different muscles in our body. We do not use every single muscle all at once. Okay, move on to section C. No, it's a myth. In fact, he was a very good student. It's true that he failed a university ex entrance exam when he was 16. However, this was because his education had focused more on science and maths and his knowledge of other subjects wasn't as strong. He failed the non-science part of the exam, but the following year, he passed, although he was a year younger than his fellow students. Nobody knows why this myth exists, but it could be because in his final year, his school reversed their marking system. The highest mark used to be one, but it became six. So people looking back over his marks probably thought Einstein had failed with so many ones. The fact is that Einstein was an outstanding physicist and mathematician. So there's no point in using him as an excuse for not doing your homework. Okay. And the last section, section D. Well, some people believe so, but others don't. In the UK and USA, a lot of children are educated at home every year but it is still illegal in certain countries, as many believe that it's got a lot of disadvantages. For instance, homeschooled children don't have the opportunity to interact with other children. Supporters of homeschooling say that their children actually don't miss... Sorry, supporters of homeschooling say that the children don't actually miss out on anything as they spend time with their siblings and also take part in different social events where they interact with people of all ages. Homeschooled children are able to work at their own speed 
and receive more attention than in the classroom. However, homeschooling is not easy on the parents as it means that either the father or the mother can't work full time, which can create financial difficulties for many families. It also requires a lot of organization, time and planning by the parent who teaches their child. So in the end, it's up to you. Okay, that's it. Alhamdulillah, we have finished reading. So now, can we discuss task C, where you have to read the text and you have to match questions 1 to 4 to sections A to D. So are you ready? Okay, let's move on. All right, question number 1. Is it true that we use only 10% of our brains? So this is the question for section B. Okay, next, question number two. I'm thinking of homeschooling my children in the future. Is it a good idea? So question number two is actually for section D. Number three, I read that by the year 2100, computers will have replaced teachers. Is that true? So this is for question section A. And lastly, question number four. My cousin keeps telling me that Einstein failed at school. Is he right? So this is the question for section C. Okay, we're done with that. Now, why don't we move on to task D? Okay, there are nine statements on task D. Please read the statements and you have to write T for true or L for false. Okay, now what you should do is you should pause the video now. You should write the answers on your own. And then you can come back later when you have finished the task, okay? Be honest, all right? Okay, <clears throat> so I hope that you have finished the task now. Now, let's discuss, okay? All right, number one, according to the text, learners can get individual attention both from teachers and computers. This is false. Okay, number two, computers can help students who get distracted easily. This is also false. I think computers make us distracted easily, right? Okay, number three, discoveries have shown that people with psychic powers use 100% of their brains. Sadly, this is false. Number four, we don't use all of our brain all of the time. Yep, true. Number four is true. Number five, Einstein did better in some subjects than he did in others. Yes, this is true. Number six, in the last year of the school where Einstein studied, Six was considered a good mark. Yep, that's true. Number seven, teaching children at home instead of at school is not possible worldwide. Yeah, this is true. It is illegal in some countries. Number eight, supporters of homeschooling believe that homeschooled children socialize as much as non-homeschooled children. Yes, it's true, they believe that. And lastly, number nine, homeschooling is a good solution for families who have financial problem. No, this is false, okay? All right, we have finally discussed Task C and Task D.
Okay, right. So, um, after this, I will give you a link for you to complete a quiz on Google Forms for task E. Okay, so I hope you can do that. And thanks for watching. See you again later. Bye-bye.